I am a scientist is an educational program for primary school children that aims to bridge an opportunity gap as well as promote access to equitable science outcomes. What that simply means uh, is that we're opening up opportunities for children who didn't normally have resources or access to a lot of opportunities in the science, technology, engineering and maths field. The objectives of the program are three-pronged. We have objectives for children, educators, and parents. For the children, we want to help them develop new capacities in deeper learning, critical thinking, and creative problem solving through playful learning. We also want to provide them with learning environments, exhibits, and materials that actually invite them to test, explore, and experiment. Furthermore, we want to ignite a love of science, technology, engineering and maths to really unlock new pathways to STEM careers for the children. Carefully pour the bicarbonate of soda into the balloon. When finished, the balloon should be full of bicarbonate of soda. Stretch the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the bottle. Make sure it is all nice and tight. Oh my gosh! Nine, five, five, five. Wow! Yes! Look at the I was surprised when I saw the balloon. It's um, inflating the air. I was very happy and was excited. I really want to try it at home with my, my parents. The second prong of the objectives targets the educators. We want to build their confidence in initiating STEM learning activities in the classroom using everyday low-cost materials. This is our lamb, the balloon inside. We check in air, check out. So meaning our lungs, they expanded. They took in the air. Secondly, we aim to direct the educators in the STEM fields to additional curriculum content we've developed to inspire further learning in the classroom. I, I got all my lessons from the material because they have everything online. They, you, you have the notes, you have the uses, you have the questions, what you can do with the students. So after I read it, I had to, to do the video. After doing the video, I was confident that I was doing something which I can easily redo. The third and final prong of the objectives targets the parents. We aim to educate parents about the importance of STEM learning. We also empower them with resources that can show them how to continue STEM learning at home using everyday low-cost materials. Fill every glass with water. All right. Put a few drops of food coloring in each glass. One drop? Yes. Okay. Use one of your paper towels and put one end in each cup. So it's like all this water that's going to be here is like transforming inside. Yes, yes. Playing around with the colors and gases and water and the paper, I didn't know that you can make a nice project with it. It's a good project for my kids and other kids as well. The program has three pillars. The first pillar is the modular exhibit, which is mobile and travels across Gauteng in school halls and community centers, and children get to experience or interact with the various elements of the exhibit. The beauty about this exhibit is its overwhelming scale. It is a 340 meter squared modular exhibit with three major scenes, namely the Kruger National Park, the Urban Environment and Northern Cape. And each scene has its own stations and activities where children come to test, experiment and explore. So I'm a foxes. So I'm a I'm a geologist. You are asking I'm a foxes. Then I 
The second pillar of the program is what we call meet a STEM role model. This is the virtual element of the program that gets rolled out weekly. Here, we've partnered with various scientists from across the country who share their pathways into their respective STEM fields. You might put together an experiment and it fails completely. But you know what? That is also research because you're telling the people that come after you that do not try this. It's not going to work. Don't waste your time. Coming back to my sample, what do I do? I cut this up. I attach some wires on it. All right. And I put it into a big green machine, which you can see over there. Okay. It's a big green machine. It looks like Shrek. So we call it Shrek. So we call it Shrek. Okay. So that's just it. You have so much fun in the lab, you start even naming your equipment. So that's that's our Shrek. I remember there was one person from the South African Space Association and uh, our learners were asking the whole week, you know, how can I work in the space industry? I want to explore the space and so on. The third pillar of the program is the Science at Home Workbook series. Here we have four resource booklets available in print and digital. I think the fact that the children got given something to do at home, like, wow, I can do this at home. I mean, one mom actually said to me, please take that book away from my child. She's using all my flour and all my stuff in my kitchen. <laughs> so I definitely will continue elements of it. I'm a scientist program. It's a very powerful program, which has been limited to primary school kids. But with us, we are sharing the links with high school kids so that they also get involved. I would like to thank Play Africa and their partners for bringing such a wonderful program to our kids. Thank you so much. Who else wants to have a favorite thing? Yes. Building things. Building things, yes. And you? To be a doctor. To be a doctor. Oh, of course. Yes. Being a pilot. Wow. Do you have to be a boy to become a scientist? No. No. And girls become scientists. Yeah. yeah.